Hello everybody, welcome to the Financial Insight Show and this is season three and we are excited to be here. Today, I have the pleasure of sitting with uh, Ms. Uh, Tilamazua Piri, who happens to be the Chief Executive Officer of uh, African Rivers. Um, Ms. Piri, welcome to the Financial Insight Show. Thank you, Clarence, for having us, and we're happy to be here this afternoon. Indeed. And um, uh, obviously, the, the theme uh, that you work around is uh, climate action, um, and it's all about uh, restoring uh, river restoration. And uh, um, if you could briefly tell us what Africa Rivers is about and what you really do. Thank you. Um, so African uh, Rivers is a new NGO that we registered in March last year. And we had our official launch on the 20th of September. It was officiated by the Vice President of Zambia mm -hmm. and the Minister of Green Economy and Environment, Honorable Colin Zinzovo, officiated on the Vice President's behalf. Um, so at this launch, Zambezi River Indaban Expo project was launched. And um, pretty much African rivers, um, our motto is water, life, and peace. And the purpose of this NGO is the protection of rivers, not just in Zambia, but across the whole of Africa. With that, we partnered with American rivers in the United States who are working with us um, on all our upcoming projects, including the upcoming Zambezi River, Indaba, and Expo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So recently we've seen, uh, especially through social media messaging circulating around, um, that this is the first ever um, Zambezi River Indaba Expo. Yes. Which will be happening uh, sometime next month. In Correct. Okay. Uh, could you share some more details about that important event? What is the main objective for that event? And what's the theme for the event itself? Where is it going to be? What do you expect to, ach to have achieved mm -hmm. uh, at the end of that event, please? Okay, so um, the event is scheduled to take place from the 25th to the 28th of March in Livingston. And um, as you're aware, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, um, created the Ministry of Green Economy and Environment. Mm -hmm. um, this was in response to the effects of climate change that we are facing uh, globally. Um, and as a result, we as African Rivers decided to come up with this uh, project, um, Zambezi River Indaban Expo, bearing in mind that the Zambezi River is the fourth largest river in Africa. So mm -hmm. we thought it would be a good launch pad to have this, uh, to have our first ever expo, which is the first ever expo on rivers as a whole ever to be done. So. Um, the purpose of this expo is to bring awareness to the effects of rivers, the importance of rivers, which we know without rivers, um, it would affect irrigation, agriculture, uh, water consumption, um, you know, transportation, to name a few. So we are looking at achieving um, uh, like a, a whole global and local aspect of people uh, understanding the importance mm -hmm. of rivers. Um, the importance of uh, avoiding pollu polluting the rivers, mm -hmm. like we have the mines and, and so forth. Industrial waste. Industrial waste uh -huh. and whatnot, yes. So we have a lot of activities lined up during this expo. We'll have the Zambezi River Forum. Um, during that forum, we'll have all these stakeholders discuss um, cardinal issues like transboundary issues, how we can... Um, improve on pollu on not polluting our rivers. Mm -hmm. uh, we also plan to have a chief's conference as the chiefs are the custodians of the rivers. Mm -hmm. We want to, uh, you know, we need them to have knowledge in how they should uh, protect their rivers in their um, selected um, areas mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they reside. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also have a children's quiz so that we can also inform the children and they should oh, wow. also have a knowledge about um, climate change and issues. Um, we'll also have a film training. We have uh, a Nollywood director, renowned director coming in who's gonna conduct a three-day training. And at the end of this training, the successful uh, uh, students will work with this director to create a documentary on the Zambezi River, an mm -hmm. international documentary. So these are just a few of the 
events that we have lined up during this event. And our purpose is hopefully to bring in um, stakeholders, uh, you know, enhance on tourism, to name a few. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So has the event been officially um, occasioned? Has it been launched? And if yes, who launched it and when? Okay, um, as mentioned, it was launched last year in mm-hmm. September at the Pamozi Hotel by the Vice President of okay. Zambia, uh, on Mrs. Mutale Lumango, and uh, Honorable Collins Nzovu, Minister of Green Economy and Environment, uh, officiated on her officer's behalf. Mm-hmm. Yes, so we had uh, a lot of stakeholders attend that launch. It was very well attended, and um, we look forward to partnering with them on this upcoming expo. We also have an uh, organizing steering committee meeting, and uh, this meeting consists of nominated officers from various government institutions. Um, we also have GIZ Zambia, like the Zambia Chamber of Commerce, Zambia mm-hmm. Development Agency. So we have all these key officers who are working with us in the planning of this upcoming expo. That's uh, a good collection of stakeholders there. Right. So I can imagine that you probably want um, international appeal to to the event. So are you targeting countries? And if so, which specific countries would you be targeting to to attend the first ever Zambezi uh, River Indaba Expo 2024? Uh, yes, internationally within Africa, we're looking at the countries along the Zambezi River Basin. Of course, it's not restricted to other countries, but as those are the countries where the Zambezi passes through, mm-hmm. like Angola, um, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Botswana, mm-hmm. Mozambique. Mozambique yeah. yeah, correct. Okay. And then we also have some international um, from Europe coming through from United Kingdom, United States, Canada. Um, and we also have some stakeholders coming through from Egypt as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Great. Um, so I can imagine that, that was, that's going to bring a diverse uh, uh, set of uh, uh, stakeholders uh, in terms of uh, um, an audience as well. Right. What type of audience or exhibitors are you targeting to invite to the, river, to Z- the Zambezi River in Dava Expo 2024? Okay, so it's, uh, like I mentioned, it's not restricted because, as we know, water is uh, something that is used in all industries. So we're looking at stakeholders um, from the mining industry, from the tourism industry, from uh, transportation, um, business owners. Mm. So we want to have this forum for all of these stakeholders to come together so we can all find solutions towards this the effects of climate change and bring mm. awareness to the effects of climate change and the protection of our rivers. Okay. Yes. And uh, you've, you've mentioned a few uh, activities that you've, you've lined up uh, right. for the uh, expo itself. Correct. You mentioned... Uh, uh, for example, a, a forum for the chiefs, yes. uh, a quiz for, for children, for right. example. Uh, are there others, uh, events lined up uh, that you've scheduled to, to be uh, uh, um. carried out at the expo? At the expo. Yeah. Those are the main events that mm-hmm. we ha- we will be having and we'll have a lot of activities like tree planting activities All as right, well. Okay. Uh, we've also partnered with the Zambia Air Force. Um, they are going to do an, an Airstream live coverage uh, from Kaleni Hills all the way down to the Victoria Falls. What's an Airstream live coverage? So they'll be covering the the pathway w- from the start of the Zambezi all the way down to the Victoria Falls. As in they, Falls. they fly past? They fly past. Ah, and I then see. they'll be... It will be covered by like BBC, like live oh, and okay. all our local stations as well. Oh, that's fantastic. It will be quite brilliant. Yeah. So okay. they're going to, we're partnered with them on that and they're going, it's going to be covered live so people can watch it on their phones, on their TVs. Hmm. Um, that's one of the events that we'll have as well happening during the expo as, as well as all these other lined up events. So I can imagine that you probably want as many people as possible Absolutely. to be aware of this event. Right. And uh, this interview, obviously, is one of the avenues that you you are using to reach as many people as possible. Correct. I understand that you've lined up something you are calling corporate social football. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? What's this corporate social football that uh, is planned and uh, what are you trying to achieve with it? 
Okay, so we thought of having this activities prior to the expo. Uh -huh. It's going to take place on the 2nd of March, which is a Saturday at the main arena in the showgrounds. Uh -huh. um, so this corporate social football match, the theme is kick out climate change. Um, and we have partnered with a few stakeholders for this uh, corporate match. It's between parliamentarians and diplomats accredited to Zambia. So is that like ambassadors? Ambassadors, and correct. And high commissioners. And high commissioners, right. yes. Okay. So um, it's not gender based, so both males right, and okay. females will participate. On, on both teams? On both teams. So wow. it'll be <laughs> very interesting and very fun to watch, I can uh -huh. I be sure okay. of. Yeah, so we're partnered with this match with the Ministry of Youth and Sport, the National Assembly, and Zamtel. Okay. Yes. So who are you expecting to attend the Corporate Social Football Match, and who, who is officiating at this event? So officiating will have the Speaker, Madam Speaker of the National Assembly, okay. who is going to officiate the event. And um, we are expecting a lot of corporates to attend this event as well. We will also have exhibitions running from like 7 in the morning till 5 p.m. So mm -hmm. we have um, organizations as well and business owners, SMEs coming through. And they'll set up from the morning uh, exhibiting and showcasing their products. Like, like a trade show? Like a trade show, yeah. a mini like a mini exhibitor's trade yeah. show, okay. yes. And then the actual match will start at 3 p.m. Uh -huh. And the speaker will come and open that match and kick the first ball. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I. So what do you expect to achieve at the end of the corporate social football match mm -hmm. ahead of uh, the Zambezi River Indawa and Expo? Okay, so our expectation is that this uh, is a platform uh, for networking amongst organizations and also for us to have like a mini launch pad to um, let people know about the upcoming Zambezi River mm -hmm. Indaba and Expo. So we are hoping that with the huge amounts of numbers of people we're expecting, yeah. it'll be a good platform for us to also showcase the upcoming Expo. Um, is this uh, a ticketed event? You know, can members of the public come? Do they have to buy tickets? If so, where can they buy tickets? Uh, yes, we'll have tickets for sale at a very um, reasonable rates. Um, they will be sold from the office at the agricultural show. So mm -hmm. everyone can buy their tickets from there. They can also contact us on our email, which is info at african-rivers.org. Okay. Yes. Who would you expect to win? <laughs> Well, it'll be very interesting. I honestly, I would say the MPs. All right, okay. Yes. You have belief in our MPs. Exactly. Uh, on the physical sort of a sports side. Yes, yeah, so Fantastic. we're rooting for them. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, Okay. so uh, this is perhaps maybe time for you to just give us your last words. And uh, yeah, you've got camera okay. for you there. Okay, well, thank you for this platform. And we are looking forward to host the first ever Zambezi River Indaban Expo. So we are calling out to all organizations, SMEs, stakeholders, everyone should want to come on board of this expo. Um, it's our pride, our Zambezi River. Climate change and pollution is a global pandemic that we are all suffering from. Indeed. We currently have been having minimal rains and the farmers are struggling. So with all these things in place, this is definitely a platform for everyone to come together as we try and find the best solution to protect our rivers and work towards um, the climate change issues and bring awareness as well. Well, I wish you all the luck in, uh, first of all, uh, putting together the first ever Zambezi River Indaba and Expo 2024. Thank and you. of course, the corporate social football where we should see parliamentarians and diplomats uh, uh, thrash it out in a field, as it were. Absolutely. Indeed. Yes, we are. It's been a pleasure hosting you here on The Fizz Show. Thank you so much for having us. And we, and we look to forward to seeing you at both events. Indeed. And f to have you here again is something that we look forward to as well. Definitely. We'll be happy to come back. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. This has been uh, Tilamazoa Piri here on The Fizz Show Season 3. My name is Clarence Chongo, and get to know.